Well, after our burst of extreme heat tomorrow, get ready for an extended stretch of hot summer days as the weekend approaches. And there's actually a special term for it, a heat dome. What are they and how long do they last? Good question. Jeff Wagner explains how homeowners and power companies are preparing. Summertime equals summer temperatures. We all know that. But a quick glance at the week ahead. And then a bit of a heat wave. And the start of next week paints a steaming hot picture for late June. So we're going to go from, you know, comfortable upper 70s, lower 80s to mid upper 90s, just like that. Jacob Beitlick is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. What is a heat dome? Uh, when we get high pressure, that means sinking air. When you have sinking air, you know, the opposite of rising air with clouds and storms, you have clear skies. That high pressure keeps pushing down, creating a dome that traps the heat underneath and makes it hotter. Depending on the weather pattern, if it's kind of a slower pattern and maybe it gets hung up or stalled out, they could last for several days, even up to over a week. Heat domes often encapsulate much of the country at once. This one stretches from Minnesota south to Texas and from the Rocky Mountains all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Is this maybe a little bit sooner than expected? I would say it's on the early end. Not unprecedented, but certainly on the early end. It likely means a massive chunk of the country will be cranking up the AC at once. The grid overall and, and our system overall is truly built uh, to manage really those hot weeks in the summer. John Marshall is the regional vice president of Xcel Energy. So there are some uh, mechanical changes that need to occur when you know we got a weekend like we have coming up. We have large energy consuming customers that have a, an agreement with us that in times of high stress on the load or on the grid rather, uh, they could turn off their consumption pretty quickly. They're called interruptible customers, which could include manufacturing companies. Would homeowners ever be asked to, to limit their usage in order to prevent an overload of the grid, if you will? Yeah, you know, we have an automated tool called the Saver Switch. A lot of homeowners have signed up for this over the years. Excel's Saver Switch will turn off your AC periodically while still fanning the already cooled air around in your home, saving the grid and saving the customer some money. Reliability and, and ensuring folks have their, their power 24-7 is top priority for Excel Energy. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.